All right, mate. Everyone, Flav here from Fighting Cock Spurs I'm, podcast. I'm hanging. Hanging out with his ass. Why you weren't even, you weren't even playing on Thursday night? We were. And he watched it. I did watch it. I thought you were excellent. I really, really. I mean, they they weren't much cop to be fair in the ground. Yeah. But given the fact that the ground was so bad and you were a long way from home, and it's difficult going to see Ukraine. Really impressed with United for the first time in this season. First time you've watched us and thought. Look like a decent outfit. Yeah, absolutely. I think the uh, movement and drive was there. Um, Pogba looks uh, uh, completely on his game. Mkhitaryan looks like a, the well-cast player we know he is. Um, so, uh, based on that, I think... Uh, and to be fair, I hadn't actually watched a great deal of United uh, beforehand. But ba- based on that, I think uh, I think it'll be fine. Well, yeah, I think... As I've, I've said this to loads of people, it's with United and Mourinho... On the way up, if you're pissing off people off, when you start falling, everyone really enjoys it. Yeah. And there's a collective appreciation right now for United struggling among everybody apart from United fans. That's always going to be that way, isn't it? Because United are United and the biggest team in the league and biggest... Mon- it's, it's the nature of it. Everyone will love watching Chelsea downfall. Everyone's loving watching Leicester downfall this yeah. year. It's just, you it's love watching the winners lose, don't you? Of course. Yeah. But, Although you haven't been winners in nah, like, we like won a few of, Last year we won FA Cup. Yeah, they pushed it. And then, um, I mean, last year, I think the game at home was probably Van Howe's, probably his best performance. Okay, well, when, against Tottenham? Yeah, against Spurs. Like you beat were, us 1-0. Yeah, like you came to, Harry Kane was banging form at that time. United were a little bit down in the dumps and we hadn't really controlled the game properly. Yeah. And we actually... It was con- the first game of the season. I think it was. Yeah, it was. Yeah, and yeah. it was... It was a, it was a good game. Or maybe I'm thinking of the uh, one the year before. I uh, we uh, we we played really well. Uh, you had one shot on target, which was an own goal from Carl Walker. Then I'm thinking of the, there was there was two the other time that we played you it might have been the year before then. Yeah, it was probably Van Hal's best performance. But our most recent game, you you taught us a new one. I think um, I think that was probably our best performance of the season. Um, we were clinical in putting. Them balls away and it was at a time where there was no fatigue in the squad we had no injuries it was essentially our, our, our first 11 which to this day even now our first 11 if we didn't have any injuries I think we'd win the league um, mm. but that isn't you know, no one goes through a season without losing players so it is what it is um, but that, that game against the United last year Lamella scoring the, the third goal was, uh, was superb we played really really well well, that was that was grim, and obviously it's a new season this season. And I didn't not I, going into the season, Spurs were genuinely one of my title favourites. So I thought you didn't lose anyone in the summer. You still are. And now you, you you're not. You're not now. Yeah, we are. Mate. Uh, that, uh, that top four normally normally when you're chasing you're chasing City or Chelsea or one of these teams, you got four teams up there. You'll who see. Are consistently. You'll but, see. No, you'll see. You'll, uh, I, I would tell you. I, I would never say that we were going to challenge for the for the title. I would you're, never, you're not out of it. I would never say it unless I, I fully believe something and see something. That's true. You know, I've, I've worked with Flav. I, I know. Yeah. I know you always keep your hopes around about. Yeah. Uh, down and there. I, I think um, Ad now Alvaro is back and Kane is back. You know, Kane since coming coming back into the the, uh, the fold after his injury has scored six goals. You know that you just can't replace that. Alvaro is he completely back fit? He's uh, definitely going to start Old Trafford. Uh, yeah, he'll, he'll start, I'd imagine. I mean, he's he's been off for uh, seven or eight weeks. We mm-hmm. had nerve damage in his knee. Um, and he uh, he came on subs, subs bench off, off against uh, Seska. And I think he should he should play. I mean, I, he, he has to. He's our, clearly our best best defender, probably the best defender in the league, maybe. I mean, you're... you're... United fans can really relate to exactly what you said there about a defender coming back after seven to eight weeks of knee, knee nerve damage because yeah. Bailly looked amazing against he did. Lahansk. Like, he's, we haven't got a defender he's who's good, anywhere uh, near his level. Like he's um, Phil Jones is always like 100% committed to the tackle but his timing is nowhere near as good as Bailly's. No, Bailly's a class act. And he's, But the thing is, like, I don't know if first game back plays seven and a half hour trip to Ukraine, 90 minutes on a frozen That's pitch. Quite a lot, yeah. And now he's coming back, and four days later, do I expect oh. him to then start against Spurs as well? Uh, I don't know. I, I I want him to, but if he's fit or not is, is another question altogether. And without him in that defence, I'm worried because Jones and Rojo, as good as they have been, 
yeah. are Jones and Rojo. Yeah, we're good for going forward as well. Um, Son, um, Ali. He's a different player this year, isn't he? So I, I didn't see didn't see this coming at all. He's like a it's like a brand new player. Um, he's had this injury on on the bottom of his foot. The uh, cart uh, cart no, yeah, is it cartilage? Well, it runs from the balls ball of the feet to the heel. Yeah. Uh, there's an injury to it, and it takes a year of rest to fully recover. <coughs> uh, so he's he's been playing with that injury, but he's he, he's been fantastic. Yeah, we're um, who has who has been your who's your danger man that United should be looking out for. Um, obviously Kane I mean you could, when if you give him any time he will score he never doesn't hit the target the, the, the geese is a phenomenon you know he's, people look at him and go is he any good because you know he, he, he can drift in and out of games and he isn't like your hyper exciting striker he doesn't kind of you don't get off your seat when he gets the ball <coughs> Because he has kind of a methodical, pragmatic way of playing football. He's get the ball, running straight lines, push the ball in front of you, yeah. pr- try and <clears throat> use your speed and strength to get past. It's not like trickery of, of Hazard or Matter. So, um, but give him the ball, but inside the 18 yard box, and there's no better finisher. No better. F- oh, he's, the, he's, he's the best finisher I've ever seen, probably. I mean, yeah, looking at Zlatan now, he's on. He's on 13 goals in 22. Has he got 13? He's got Not six. Bad, is it? I mean, our, our, our top goal scorer last season in total was Rooney on 14, I think. Yeah. And it's December and he's got 13. Yeah, he's... And he's, um, he's missed a fuckload of chances as well. Yeah. And going into this, I think he scored six and seven or seven and six. Yeah. So, is that the same as Kane's hitting him in form? Same yeah. as Latam. But the problem for United this season, especially at home, we've done it against Arsenal, we've done it against Stoke, we've done it against West Ham just these games where we should Burnley as well games that we should be winning games mm. that we should be seeing out because yeah. we all know how Mourinho is going to set up against you I think we, the, we play Liverpool um, we play Liverpool and City who both play with the press and City we set up completely wrong we sat really really deep invited them forward and we couldn't cope with it uh, and they overran us with an extra man in midfield we only played midfield too uh, away to Liverpool we adopted a completely different style um, we pressed with intent on Liverpool, but as soon as we got the ball, we negated the midfield and played it a little bit longer towards Latin. You were rubbish in that game. We set up how we set up. It was defensive against one of the league's best attacking forces. If, if we had set up how other people wanted us to set up, we'd have lost that 4-0. Boring, though. It wasn't boring. It was, it was setting up how we had set up, playing to our own strengths at that particular moment in time. Bored everyone. Well, that's fine. You're neutral. Leave it at that. But I think, I think that Mourinho's going to do the same against you. But our, yeah. att- our attack is in much better form now. Mourinho is uh, one of the few managers to um, outsmart Pochettino. So we beat them, beat Chelsea five three on New Year's Day a couple of years back. Mm. Played them in the cup final, league uh, semi final, or maybe the league cup final. Is it? I can't remember. And they yeah, lost the league cup final to Chelsea. Yeah. Uh, I don't think we did. I'm sure. Anyway, did. doesn't matter. Um, yeah, and. Uh, he he essentially took Kane out of the game by playing Zuma in front of them. Yeah, the back two, and he know he knows he knows how to beat Pochettino. I think so. That that is a little bit of a worry, um, but you know I think it's going to be a tight game. I think uh, Spurs' defense is brilliant. United's ain't bad. Um, it's, it's leaky though. I def- I wouldn't bet on United keeping a clean sheet. With buy-in, maybe, but yeah. without buy-in, with, yeah. there's been so much chopping and changing so I've, far this season. Even De Gea's yeah. not looked like the keeper he has been in recent years. He's actually made a couple of mistakes. Yeah, I, 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 I mean, anything can happen, obviously, but I, I see, I see uh, United struggling to score, as everyone seems to, against Tottenham now. Um, and we always have a goal in us, so based on that, I think we're going to win 2-1. 2-1. Mm. Well, I'm going to go for the result that Mourinho's been trying to get United to get for a long time I'm going to go for the 1-0 and actually holding out that 1-0 lead uh, with the United this season from the outside in it looks like we're well we are we're 13 points off top Mourinho's money Mourinho's struggling X, Y, Z but for Man United fans watching this mm. easily the best football we've seen in three years Yeah, uh, it was shit under Moyes and it was that's what you wanted it, really. you just want to be able to be entertained didn't it? it's not... yeah, you, you can see progress you can see that we're trying you'd rather have an entertaining one-all draw than some 
fucking dire yeah one nil scrap it yeah but United are heading in the right direction right now under Jose it's not clicking yet and there will come a time when just the cogs just fall into place and we start worrying you know Herrera is playing excellent right now I'm looking forward to seeing him and Dyer. I don't even fucking mention that oh yeah of course yeah <laughs> the uh, elbow Dyer when you for Spain yeah. um, should be hopefully a little decent clash there but I'm not sure if anything's yeah. actually going to uh, happen Dyer probably won't play if, uh, if Alderweireld starts uh, it would be Wanyama and Dembele in midfield, so uh, Dai will be on the bench. But yeah, he'll have ample opportunity to to, do to, what to stare needs. at him from the bench. Yeah, yeah, to do so what it's he a needs smart to move do. by Pochettino taking him away from Herrera because you know I wouldn't want to go. Up he's uh, he is he always seems like a three seconds away from getting a straight red, uh, Dyer, <laughs> But as it always has, his composure, which meant he hasn't, you know, he hasn't, I don't think he's been sent off for Spurs. A few bookings. Uh, there's always a there's always a first opportunity, yeah. but. I would say good luck, but I never fucking mean it in these collabs. But good luck anyway. Uh, let me know your predictions below. Do you think Man United can overcome Spurs? I love it, you. Mate, if, if we don't, I love you too. <laughs> I paid him for that, so I'll give you the 20 quid after. If we don't beat you, we're nine points off fifth. That is not a, that is not a situation that makes me very festive. Oh, so. uh, yeah, that's your fuck to me. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah, I'm going to walk off as well. Take it easy, everyone.